Hello and welcome to Coffee Lovers TV. Joseph here and I'm super excited today to bring you one of my favorite coffee producers roasted by one of my favorite roasters. We have, well this isn't the actual coffee, but we have a Chembe by 90 plus coffee producers uh, roasted by Condor Coffee. Now I got a uh, forward sample so I don't actually have the bag that this coffee comes in, uh, but it's part of the reason why I'm a little delayed on the show this week uh, because I got this coffee on Tuesday. It was roasted on Monday, uh, so I needed to wait a couple days uh, for it to settle so that we can make sure everything is uh, excellent. I've been a big fan of 90 Plus Coffee for quite some time now. Uh, they are a coffee producer and they're well known for producing uh, the highest, at least some of the highest quality coffees in the world. They're very well known for pushing the processes uh, used in coffee. They do a lot of really advanced uh, techniques to really push how coffee is processed uh, and that's part of the reason that the quality of their coffees is so high. And, and as part of this process they uncover absolutely fascinating experiences in coffee. It's really hard to talk about them and not sound ridiculous uh, because I mean so let me quickly go over, I'm gonna, oh my goodness, hold on. There was some kind of like rich plum there. The tastes and aromas that I've experienced with 90 plus coffees uh, have been completely out of this world. They are single-handedly for me responsible for pretty much all of my mind boggling experiences that change the way that I think about coffee. Uh, because when you, when you start from a certain perspective and then you have a coffee and it tastes like a sweet honey plum nectar and you're drinking it going, how, how is that coffee? That kind of changes your perspective. I'm not saying that's what this one tastes like. Uh, I'm just trying to give some background as to my enthusiasm about these fine folks. So they're very well known for the uh, processing that they do with coffee. They also do a huge amount of work in preservation. Um, so especially in their farms in Panama, they've, they've done some very impressive work to not only produce some uh, absolutely mind-boggling geishas, but they have turned the, the area that they, they produce their coffee uh, back into essentially a rainforest. Uh, from it had originally been farmland when they when they uh, took control of it and now there's a lot of natural growth um, and they've really rejuvenated uh, the land there and that's um, that's really cool I don't want to talk too much more about 90 plus I got to do a whole thing on them uh, at some point uh, later in the future um, so this coffee is roasted by Jesse a conduit coffee I've had the privilege of having 90 plus coffees from many roasters around the world. I can definitely and proudly say that Jesse is easily one of the best roasters of 90 plus coffees. If you're listening, if you're listening, Steve and Joseph, Jesse's the man. He does this amazing, but I'm sure you guys know that. All right, let me get in. So I've already brewed. Um, I did not brew on a Chemex. I did brew this on a Kalita. Uh, long story short, I don't have my carafe anymore that I was using. Uh, so I literally collated into my Chemex. I'll leave that up for interpretation. Some notes on the dry aroma, shall we? Let's have a sniff. The, uh, this, the, the Chembe is from Ethiopia, from the Guji region. I've had many coffees from the Guji region, and they are pretty well known for their fruitiness, um, at least in my experience. It's got a very strong fruit compote sort of uh, aroma in the bag and I'm kind of getting into what I got what I got when I ground the coffee and I put the coffee into the filter what I was picking up and I made a note on was like trail mix um, there's a lot of berry there's a lot of berry aroma sweet fruit sweetness a little bit of sugar sweetness very nice smells so good just to smell it. You would smell this and you would, if, if you've not, I, it's guaranteed if you smelled this and you've not smelled anything like this before in coffee, you would not believe that you were smelling coffee. Um, I, I'm going to stop trying to say that so much, but it's true. <laughs> 
the uh, some of the more aromas when I was brewing on the bloom. Uh, so the first pour, um, the first 50 grams or so of water as I let the let the coffee bloom in the pour, that was like giving off hugely strong uh, uh, aromas of lime, uh, like I was smelling a fresh squeezed lime. Very interesting. And then as it brewed um, in the actual Kalita, as it brewed, uh, strong aromas of fruit cake. So lots of fruitiness and then this nice um, rich sugary bakey pastry like ca uh, combination. Very, very nice. The aroma keeps, to me, keeps popping back to like a fresh plum. It's, it's got a lot of characteristics of like stone fruit, but it has the, the, the fruit, sharp fruitiness of more like a berry, which is interesting. So I think that's why I kind of want to say plum, but I also kind of want to say like uh, definitely lots of cherry. Let's stop smelling it and drink it, shall we? Come on, Joseph. Just drink the darn coffee. The aroma is half the joy, though. It's a little, it's a little warm still to pick out distinct flavors. Uh, bright, um, certainly a bright fruit edge. A little subtle citrus in there. Hard to, hard to put um, a distinct flavor on it just yet. While well, I let it cool for a moment. Um, one of the challenges with 90 plus coffees and why you may have never seen them before and why I often like, I might only have them a couple times a year and that's because due to the, the meticulous nature of their processing, the care that they put into everything, the price on their coffee is much higher than uh, you're probably used to. And it's to say that is very worth it. The, uh, these are, they're not, the prices are not like inflated unreasonably. They put a lot of work into these coffees. And I think it's absolutely worth it. Every time I see a 90 plus available somewhere, I try to get myself a bag. So some of my in initial reactions on the taste here. I get, I kind of get that a little bit of that lime like on the edge. There's like a top edge of it is is just it's just for a second just like the lime just kind of peaks peaks around the edge and then it's gone and then we get into this real deep fruit sweetness and there's a lot of this is kind of like a kind of like a fruit bar or like fruit tape where like the it's really concentrated and sweet um, and, and it's, there's just, there's a lot of fruitiness to it. I could also say that there's, um, there are some wine-like qualities to this. Just in like the strong fruit richness, it's a little hard to compare directly to wine, of course, because the wine is, um, you know, there's alcohol, it's fermented. Of course, there is fermentation process in the processing of the coffee um, and so it, there could be some, some interesting parallels there. Interestingly enough, though, this has a, a very strong fruit characteristic to it. It also has um, some, it ke keeps a nice deep balance. So this isn't just like a light fruity, it's not like a tea. It's not like tea at all. This is definitely coffee. Um, has a good richness to it, but also, um, delightful fruit flavor. I want it to cool a little bit. It's quite possible my ratio on brewing this was slightly off. I brewed about 16 to 1 on the Kalita, but as I've been toying around with the Kalita uh, recipe, um, I'm not 100% sure. I actually think I may brew this on the Chemex and and see if I can tell a difference because what I'm what I'm getting is there's a lot of richness in here and the the amount of the amount filtered by the Kalita or not filtered by Kalita rather could be kind of interfering with some of the more delicate uh, flavors to it. Uh, what I'm kind of getting, if I sit here and think about it, is a lot of like fruit juice um, or a 
Yeah, there's like a there's a definite fruit juiciness to it that's that's really interesting. Um, and I'm wondering if on the Chemex, if we just clarify this slightly, if that would not just completely explode out. Um, I'm going to try to do that really quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, this time we're on the Chemex, uh, actually brewed on the Chemex, um, and we're going to have a we're gonna have a taste. Um, just a note: as I was as I was preparing this coffee, uh, the ground aroma was slightly different this time. Actually, quite a bit different, maybe slightly different. I, I picked up my decision on the, on the last time was like a, kind of a trail mix because it had a lot of that bright sort of fruit uh, fruitness, but with um, well, in addition with like the uh, sort of sugary and deeper richness of what you'd get in the rest of a trail mix. This time it was a bit different. It was more like candy sweetness, uh, almost like um, a bag of Skittles. That was just on the ground. That was just on the ground. Um, ooh, okay, okay. So tasting, this is on the Chemex now, and it is uh, notably different, and it's doing exactly what I thought it would. The, the sort of richer layer that, that the Kalita lets through is kind of clarified out now. And what I'm left with is a real fruit juice kind of coffee, like a punch, like a fruit punch. But what, it's a little hard to nail down an exact fruit because it's like a mixed berry to me. Like if I, I don't know, if I took a bunch of, if I took a bunch of mixed berries and blended them together into a drink or um, maybe like a mixed berry pie I can also get a bit of the lime, a little bit more of the lime on this. So that's interesting. Just a little bit of a comparison. The, um, the Kalita was coming off more, uh, a bit richer, more, a little more wine-like, and this is coming off as more of like a fruit juice, like a mixed berry juice. Uh, but I do, I do get, I do still get some of the richness in here. So you could also say like a mixed berry pie or something like that. Um, so that's quite fun. So there we have it. That was the Chimbe from 90 Plus Coffee, roasted by Conduit Coffee. Uh, highly, highly recommend you grab a bag if you have any curiosity about fruity coffees. Just get one. Uh, it's a treat, um, but you're going to enjoy it.